Hi everyone, my name is Chris Helvey with Waterline Boats here in Oak Harbor to take you on a video tour of this well-kept 45-foot princess yacht built in England in 1985. There are many photos showing her exterior both on the hard and in the water. Entering aft from the cockpit, we'll take a look at the interior. Standing after the cockpit on an added aluminum swim platform, the first thing I notice is that this is a very solid vessel. The FRP hull build is substantial. There are walkways on both sides of the boat. Lots of sturdy handrails. It's a very roomy covered cockpit, which is handy for fishing. This vessel has taken part in many personal fishing adventures by an experienced charter captain. A ladder from the cockpit leads to the flybridge. A double sliding door at the cockpit gains entry directly into the salon area. It has an open and airy feeling with a lot of light due to all the wonderfully large windows that wrap around nearly the entire top side. Directly to port is built-in wraparound seating with tasteful and well-kept upholstery around a dining table with folding leaves. By pulling over the wicker seats from the starboard side, the table will comfortably seat four or five. The carpet is excellent, if not brand new condition, in a neutral charcoal color. To starboard are two rattan chairs and a built-in reading table and cabinet. Curtains are a neutral colored as well. The designers of this boat utilized nooks and crannies to be usable space for small items like flashlights, handheld devices, or whatever small items you may need to stow away. Access to the engine room is directly below via a carpeted flush hatch. Another few steps forward leads to steps down to the galley. But just to starboard before the steps is the helm. There is a flat area in front of the instruments for charting. And this is a double bench seat with an incredibly open line of sight all around due to these uh, wraparound windows. Throttle controls and the trolling valve as switch as well is, is located right over here. Starboard of the, of the wheel and the dashboard. And there's the area for the chart table. I want to add that the uh, visibility is really quite remarkable uh, with these, these wraparound windows. Uh, you have a, a fantastic line of sight in all directions from the helm. Speaking of piloting, this boat is reported to be both efficient and fast, cruising at 10 knots and running up to 24 plus knots. Additionally, uh, as I mentioned before, it does have trolling valves with the switch located next to the throttles. Powering it are two Volvo Penta 300 horsepower diesels. And all of the instrumentation and electronics are operational. The companionway steps lead directly down to the galley below deck. To starboard of the steps is the electrical panel, so it's very easy to access but not taking up other useful living space. It is well laid out with plenty of countertop arranged in a U-shape with the walk around starboard. A microwave oven sits behind access doors above a working, typical working Norcold refrigerator. The portholes allow for a lot of light to come in. It's a very open and well lit area. Directly on the other side of the sink, stove and counter area is a galley settee. People can visit with the chef or underway it's likely to be a nice desk area or, or with a workstation. A large mirror behind the settee lends a hand at making this whole area feel quite open. Across from the settee is entry to the guest cabin. It has a lot of light from two portholes. There's built-in storage areas aside, a double berth and a hanging locker at the foot. A full-length mirror again adds openness to this room.
Just forward of the guest cabin is the guest head. It's very clean and features a wonderful blue color for the sink and ceramics that's never dated. Teak shower flooring grates add a nice touch. And there is an overhead shower in both of these heads. Moving fully forward is the master suite. The master head is accessed from within this stateroom and suite. Again, it has an overhead shower and the same blue ceramics. And the porthole adds a lot of light. A queen size berth with overhead reading lights is surrounded by excellent bright work. Hanging lockers on each side offer ample storage space. And portholes on both sides and the large overhead hatched window provide a remarkable amount of light. And again, a large mirror helps to make the room feel even larger. It's a comfortable area for sure. And down below here, everything feels very solid and well made. It's impressively sturdy. And on the starboard side is this hanging locker. From here, we're going to walk back out uh, through the galley, back up top, and into the salon and we'll give you another look around and aft go back out to the cockpit it's worth mentioning again that the cockpit is very functional and sizable for fishing in the lazarette which has a large access door it contains the cabin heating equipment one battery, one of the two automatic fire extinguishers, a life throw ring, and some other assorted equipment. And then on the port side, we have the ladder which goes to the flybridge. And what a view from up here. There are plenty of pictures which show uh, the seating and uh, the flybridge controls uh, elsewhere on the website. I didn't take the covers off for this video, but um, there is front, both forward facing and rear facing seating on these double benches and a windscreen there. A great view. And radar sits atop this very sturdy mast. Looking down from the flybridge is the shelter over the cockpit from above. So I also want to give you a view with a different camera that doesn't have as wide of an aspect just to avoid some of the distortion that can come with very wide angle cameras and to highlight some of the little things that are worth mentioning on this boat. Draperies are a very neutral color. Woodwork is excellent, and there's quite a bit of cabinet space here. Lots of little cubby holes. And I can't mention enough just how well lit this area is. These wraparound windows just add a lot of natural light. You can see the carpeting is new. The headliners are in good condition with no tears and the rod holders above make it clear this boat uh, is good for fishing. Heading back down into the galley, 
you can see the ample cabinet space. There's an ice box there in the corner. Norcold refrigerator and freezer. Above that is uh, the microwave. You see the drawer drawers to the right. And to starboard, there is that electronics panel, as well as the panel for security and uh, the generator gauges, and also the inverter gauges. Above the refrigerator, behind these doors, is the microwave. And above that is more storage area. Above the counter in the galley, here are these uh, sliding doors that you can access uh, cups and uh, dinnerware. And it's actually quite a bit of space. Again, the light from above spills over and comes right down into the galley, so it's, it's very bright. I wanted to give you a closer look here at the woodwork and the amount of cabinet space in the galley. And the stove um, has this nice tip top. It's, it's a sturdy counter space, but then when it lifts up, you can actually use that as a shelf with this over this three burner stove. And this is storage over the hanging locker in the guest cabin. There's that full length mirror that opens things up even more. Here's a shot of the guest head with the other video camera, just to get a more perspective uh, from a normal, regular eye. So you can see the overhead uh, locker there. They're both very comfortable heads. And heading back once again into the master suite, you can see all of this um, wonderful woodwork and uh, get a feel with this camera uh, with a different aspect ratio. So I invite you to come take a look at this fine boat. My name is Chris Helvey with Waterline Boats. I can be reached at 360-23-BOATS and visit us at www.waterlineboats.com. I'd be happy to make an appointment so we can look at it in person.